Today, as you know, we've been talking about heroes this year, and I'm going to talk about a hero of mine, but first, I want to ask you guys a question. Now, if you get the question right, you get to keep this money. No, you don't. You don't get to keep the money, I need this. Okay, so, we've got a $50 note and a 50 cent coin. Which one is worth more? Hands up if you think it's a 50 cent coin. Okay. Hands up if you think it's a $50 note. Alright, hopefully you all got that right. I reckon you all know um, what it is. Um, obviously it's the $50 note. Alright, that one is more valuable. Okay? That one is more valuable. Now, um, completely unrelated to the story, I want to try out a bit of a magic trick, alright? So I want you to take a big, deep breath, and then you're going to blow at the screen. And then, we're going to make this money disappear, alright? So, take, your deep, take a big, deep breath now. Three, two, one. Blow, 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 blow! Oh my goodness! What the heck? How did you do that? It's magic! They're gone! I need that back. I need to be able to pay my rent. So can you um, blow up the screen one more time and then um, maybe the money will appear, alright? Three, two, one. Blow, 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 blow. Oh! You've done it. I can pay my rent. Well done. Thank you guys. You're legends. The story I want to tell you today comes from the Bible. And it's a story about Jesus, right? So Jesus is sitting at the temple. Now... At the temple, there was this, like, pot that people would put money in everywhere. So, so people would come and put money. Some of you who go to church, you might see this. That there, there's, a, there's a bucket that's passed around and people put um, their coins or their notes and their money in, in the bucket. So at this temple, it was like a big kind of well. And people would come in and they would put their money in. Now some of the rich people, right, they might um, get their wallet. And they'd open up their wallet and there'd be, there'd be a bunch of $50 notes because they're pretty rich, right? And then they go, okay, I'm going to take one of my $50 notes. I'm very, very generous. I'll take the $50 note out and I'll put it in the bucket. $50, that's pretty good. They're pretty generous. 50 bucks is a lot of money. And there's a lot of people that do this, right? People come and they go and they come and they, and they, and they put money in the temple. Now, this one time, this... this this old lady, this poor old lady comes in and she puts two copper coins in. Two copper coins. It's like 50 cents. It's not a lot of money. Just a little bit, right? So she takes, she opens up her wallet and all that's in there is 50 cents. So she pulls out her 50 cents. She goes, okay. And then she puts it in the well. She takes her 50 cents out of her wallet and puts it in her well. A bit ashamed because she sees people around her pulling out $50 notes, 20s, hundreds to put in. And all she can give is 50 cents. It's a bit, a bit, bit shameful because it's not really worth anything. It's not really worth anything. But Jesus responds to this act very interestingly. Now let me, let me share with you. In the Bible, in, in, um, in Mark it is. Mark chapter 11. So Jesus sees this, right? He sees the lady putting her 50 cents in. And she, he calls over his disciples and says, Guys, I'm going to tell you something. Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. It's an interesting thing said by Jesus, because obviously, as you guys said before, this $50 is more valuable than this 50 cents. And Jesus is saying, no, this lady, the 50 cents is more valuable than the $50, because 50 cents was everything to her. That's all she had. That was everything. These people with $50, they had heaps of 50s. It's like nothing to them. But this old lady, she gave everything that she had. And that is considered to be more valuable than the $50 note. So giving is like, is, is like a heart thing. So there's a verse in the Bible that says, 
Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. So all the people in that temple, they're looking at the people putting in 50s. And they say, okay, that's awesome. That's what we need. We need 50s. We need big money. But Jesus sits there and he looks at the heart. He looks at this old lady who gives everything. She has a great attitude of giving inside. A great attitude of giving inside. And that's, that's what giving is all about. That's what giving is all about. Now, you might have not have much money to give, right? But you can still give things. You can still give, right? You can, you, maybe you have some like toys that you really like. You can, you can share those toys with your friends. That, that, that's giving. It's something that's really important to you, allowing someone else to have a turn with that. Or maybe, I don't know, I remember when I was young, there was one time where I cleaned the house. And we had this duster, and I took, like, we took ages. I dusted the walls, I did everything. I don't really know why, but my mum talked about that years later. She said that was one of the most meaningful things ever because of the effort that I went to. I put in so much effort to clean a house, and that was more valuable to her. And maybe another thing you could do is write a heartfelt card or letter to your parents, to your mum or your dad, and maybe, to them, that letter becomes more valuable to them then the pay they get at work, because it's come from you, because it's come from your heart, it's something that you have given. So that is valuable. You have, you can, you can, you can give valuable things. So don't forget that. Hold on to that. What you have to give is of value. It's beautiful. Let me tell you. But, um, let me share with you what a society looks like when everyone gives. In Acts, right? In the Book of Acts, in the Bible, it says. Uh, this is Acts is, Acts is um, in the timeline. This is after Jesus has gone back to heaven, and this is what the church was like um, on earth as it started. And it says, "All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they shared everything that they had." Um, and it keeps going. Um, from time to time, those who owned land or houses sold them bought the money from the sales and put it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to anyone who had need. So there were people who were selling their houses, getting all the money, and giving it to the apostles so that they could distribute it to where it was needed. These people gave everything. They gave everything. And that's, and that, and that's, that's an extreme, and we, we don't need to sell that. We don't necessarily need to do that. But what, what was important was their hearts. They gave it all. Any t- anyone, anyone they heard of who was struggling or needed something, bam, they're there. They're there to help. So that's what, that's, what, that's what my challenge is to you guys today. Look at your people, your friends in your class, your teachers. If you see that they need anything, think to yourself, what can I do to help? And maybe you can't necessarily do anything to help, but what can I do to help make this situation better? That's, that's, that's what giving looks like. How can we make the situation better? Instead of thinking about ourselves, let's, let's focus on others. Let's be selfless. And then, and then that, in turn, gives us a feeling of reward and satisfaction inside because we've been able to help somebody else. So today, that's my challenge to you. Be generous. You, what you have to give is of value. Don't forget that and give freely.